We're live this morning with how Duke Energy is getting ready to respond to this weekend storm and what you can do at home today to prepare. The Supreme Court's split decision on vaccine mandates. I'm Christopher Salas in Washington with more on who is required to be vaccinated. And a fire just consuming the front of a Greensboro home. We have all new video and information this morning from the, defi the fire department coming up. It is Friday, January 14th, a busy weather weekend right around the corner. Good morning to you and yours. I'm Devontae McKenna. And I'm Jackie Pascal. enjoying the calm here today. It's actually <laughs> looked like a pretty nice day, Brian, but of course, all eyes are on this weekend forecast. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We got a couple days to, to get ready for this one. Sunday looks to be when this thing moves in and overnight while you were sleeping, National Weather Service offices in several areas kind of combined forces and issued a winter storm watch. It's in effect from midnight to midnight Sunday for most ex extends into Monday morning for a while in the mountains for the potential for lingering snow showers. Timeline Saturday night, early Sunday. This is going to be snow for most folks. There's going going to be a period of wintry mix that starts in the south and then starts to move in north and west over a good chunk of the area. It's not sure yet how far west this gets, but it's really going to cut into projected snowfall totals. That's going to be during the daytime on Sunday. As a storm starts to pull away, we'll likely see a transition back to snow. For most folks, eastern areas, we could see a mix of sleet, freezing rain, even some plain rain from this one. So you've got some time to get ready for this. Temperatures 30s and lower 40s over the area. Uh, mildest in Mount Airy, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, or even Reedsville showing lower 40s. Today's a nice day with a high of 52 degrees this afternoon, a breezy day with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The storm's impact expected to say mostly snow farther west. Some ice might mix in from time to time, and that icy influence will uh, increase as you move to the triad and especially areas that are going to be south of I-85. So there's a lot of things you can do between now and then to get ready. I know preparations are underway all over the area. Area. We send it out to Rachel Ellis, who's live this morning in Winston-Salem. Uh, Rachel, what are you hearing right now about preparations? Yeah, Brian, good morning to you. Well, we're going to tell you a little bit about what Duke Energy specifically is doing pre to prepare, but we wanted to come over here uh, to the salt dome in Winston-Salem. I have a chunk of salt in my hand right here, something you'll see all over the roads uh, throughout the triad uh, heading into the weekend, over the weekend, um, as we prepare to see some of that snow, sleet, or ice, uh, you know, the, the winter weather that we've been talking about all morning long here. But now when it comes to Duke Energy preparations, uh, the power company says, says um, if you do lose power, you want to make sure that you have a plan in place, especially if you rely on power for your medical needs. So a spokesperson, Jeff Brooks, says to make sure you have those things in place. Um, if you do lose power for a day or two, he says you want to find a way to keep your cell phone charged. And if you use a generator, make sure you check that it's in good operating condition. He told us this is going to potentially be a challenging driving situation and says the best thing to do is stay home and stay safe while the emergency crews are out doing the work that they need to do. Uh, but if you do need to get out, being very conscious of the fact that our crews are going to be out there working, restoring power, um, and the roads are slippery, so we want to make sure everybody stays safe. It may be that some areas see no outages because it's just a little bit of snow. Some areas may see a lot of outages because of ice. We've still got a few days as we approach this storm. And if you do lose power, Brooke says you're going to want to make sure that you report it. You can do that a few ways here. First, you can call 1-800-POWER-ON or you can text out to 57801. But Brooks also says rest assured that Duke Energy crews will be working tirelessly to make sure power is restored to every home in the event that we do see power outages over this weekend. We're live this morning in Winston-Salem. Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News. Rachel, thank you. And here are some supplies that you should have on hand, according to the North Carolina Emergency Management officials, some non-perishable foods, whatever medication you might need, and battery-operated lights and a radio. If you use any fuel-burning appliances like space heaters or portable generators, be sure they are properly ventilated. Please, please be safe with those. They are reminding folks as well to bring your pets inside, of course, when temperatures are below freezing. Good reminders going into this weekend. Also, another tool to have on hand is the free WXII 12 mobile app. You can stay up to date with the changing forecast using our interactive radar and the hour by hour breakdowns on there in the weather section. 
Plus, you can sign up for alerts to find out exactly when that winter weather is moving into your 